Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California weather watch today. It's February 24th and right now we are looking at Oregon, California here. Check out this monster storm right off the Bay Area right now. You can clearly see it here on the mid-level water vapor loop. A lot of precipitation being brought into the area. Heavy snow across some of the higher terrain. Blizzard warnings in effect. There's even that tornado threat for some of the coastal areas here over the next couple days as well. Thunderstorms, flooding, excessive rainfall. You name it, we got it. Strong winds. And we'll take a look at those details here. We're starting right now, you can see all the blizzard warnings here in the red across the Sierra, across some of the Southern California, higher terrain, central Nevada there. Winter storm warnings all over the state here. Wind advisories, flood advisories. We got a lot to go over here across the state of California. Now taking a look here, this is overall winter storm impacts. And you can see some extreme impacts across some of the higher terrain and some of the coastal areas there on the higher hills towards the Bay Area, including Northern California as well, the Sierra Nevada, and even off in through um, Nevada here as well. And even some of the mountains around Death Valley have winter storm warnings in effect for them right now. Pretty unusual out there. And this goes on for places like Northern Arizona, portions of Utah and Colorado as well. Now, this is looking at the day one categorical outlook for thunderstorm potential. You can see they got this marginal for some severe thunderstorms down here. And take a look at that. That's because of this tornado risk. This uh, These have been rolling on shore here. And this could go all the way down through the Los Angeles metro over the next couple of days here. So we'll go over a little bit of that here in a moment. Take a look at day two. You can see that thunderstorm threat extends all the way down through Southern California by tomorrow. This is the day one excessive rainfall outlook, actually moderate potential for some flash flooding type conditions here across Southern California, including the Los Angeles metro here up towards Santa Barbara and some of Central California as well. This is day two. This extends all the way down through San Diego shown there. Now this is what's been going on here. Here's the 500 millibar, 18,000 feet upper level. You can just see that bowling ball of a storm here that's been moving across the state. It's right about here now. And now it's gonna be sliding down, taking its sweet time to get out of here. Then you get another frontal system on the heels of that. And then yet another frontal system as we go on in through early and mid next week. And on through the extended, you have this trough dragging down as as well and then potentially more systems coming on through the extended forecast also 200 plus hours here on last night's european run or yesterday afternoon's european run i should say now this is taking a look at what's going on currently you can see widespread precipitation across the state Put that into motion because that low pressure continuing to pump moisture back up across the region here as you get some very heavy snowfall across the higher terrain, flooding conditions, thunderstorms, tornado potential, high winds as this thing finally moves out. Front right behind that as well. Doesn't impact Southern California too much, but it's uptrending a little bit. You can see a little precipitation getting down there. But then a stronger frontal system starts to push across the state here as you go on in through Monday shown here. And then maybe some more on into the extended. We'll take a look at that a little bit here on the upcoming days. Now, looking at this total snow kuchera, this was yesterday afternoon's European run. This goes out 10 days. Put that into motion. You can clearly see the huge amounts of snowfall that we've been talking about the last few days. Forecast is still there. And then the additional rounds of snowfall as we go on into early next week as well. Just piling up over the Sierras here in places like Nevada and across Northern California as well. And there's a chance for a little bit of snowfall. A Again, down to the lower elevations here as we go on to in through early next week as well. And you can see this is the snowfall mainly occurring today across from the higher hills, mainly south of the Bay Area there. Now taking a look here, we're looking at the NAM 3KM. This is what the Doppler radar should be looking like today. And you can see these strong segments as they move on shore with that weak, brief tornado potential there. Thunderstorm activity, small hail, snow pellets out there. And you can see this front of system drag down across the state here, across Southern California. This is going to be very late tonight and into tomorrow morning with this very heavy band of precipitation moving across the state there and you can still see the spin in the atmosphere here as that upper level low goes over southern california the day saturday could be some interesting showers there thunderstorm potential as well maybe even a brief water spout tornado with that also you see that low finally move off next frontal system starts to roll down across the area here and then a stronger frontal system will arrive a bit later on here uh, later on in the period here this only goes at 60 hours the nam 3km high resolution model there and again we looked at this yesterday 
as well. This is 500 millibar temperature, and you can see what's causing all this, this big polar lobe, this bowling ball of cold air here, pinwheeling down across the state. I like looking at this animation here as it moves across the southwest USA. And then you can see additional systems start to arrive here on and through early next week. Now, this is looking at surface-based CAPE, and this is why you're seeing those advisories and warnings out there for the brief uh, water spout and tornado potential. You've got some convective available potential energy, and you guys have probably been hearing the lightning and thunder across some of the Bay Area last night night as well and you can see this cape kind of move down the coastline with its upper level lows by the time we go into saturday you can see it's squared over southern california there so heads up for that as you go on in through the day saturday as well now taking a look here this is the nam3 cam accumulation preset by type and you can see rain on the top snow here i can pay too much attention to the freezing rain over here but you can see the rainfall occurring and then where the places where it's going to snow the higher terrain across the area there as well kind of gives you the one two shot of things here and this goes out 60 hours again shown there so pretty heavy snow like we've been talking about for the last few days across the higher terrain combined with some strong winds equals blizzard conditions for several areas across california today now this is the parent temperature here on the nam3 cam this takes into account wind chill and you can see the warmer air out ahead of front this frontal system that upper level low and that frontal system marching across southern california there upper level low spinning there pretty chilly temperatures here over california as you see going on in through saturday sunday shown there especially across some of the higher terrain nevada northern Arizona out through Utah there as well. Then the next frontal system starts its arrival. Now looking at significant wave height, you can see that we did have that swell arrive with that storm there. And then this next frontal system will bring some and then continued wave activity with these systems as we go on through the extended forecast. This is about 10 day period shown there. So just have a heads up for that minor beach erosion, big waves, watch out mariners out there in the ports with your boats. Now, taking a look here, this actually shows instability. We're looking at a hotograph here that shows the wind profile here as you go up in the atmosphere, and you can see the temperature profile as well. Pretty unstable there with some decent turning in the atmosphere. I don't pay much attention to that. I look at the hotograph and the actual temperature uh, thermal profile there, and you can kind of see the winds kind of a curved photograph there that means there's some abundant shear here in the lower levels of the atmosphere and that could get some turning that's why those showers are spinning as they move on shore and that's what's bringing that water spout slash weak brief tornado potential across the region this is the wrap model here kind of showing the same thing good turning in the atmosphere in the lower levels and some instability all the way up towards 16 17 18 thousand feet or so could get the job done would not be surprised to see a water spout slash tornado report across central southern california today or tomorrow and this is a mesoscale discussion here the national weather service puts these out and you can see it kind of highlights certain areas and in this case it shows maximum snow rates here two to three inches plus per hour some just incredible rates occurring across the sierra nevada here just thought i'd introduce that to you i don't haven't talked about these much but pretty good thing from the storm prediction center you can see a mesoscale discussion there now, this is the same thing there. So let's see this uh, predicted precipitation today and tonight. You can see the grapevine even getting 8 to 12 inches as well. Huge amounts across the Sierra Nevada, some of the lower, um, uh, I should say, Southern California mountains there as well. Big amounts also. So this is lightning strikes. You can see all the thunderstorms occurring around the Bay Area down towards Salinas there. And this will move down the coastline as we go on through the day today into tomorrow there. So you can see all the... The total strikes here and the positive and negative strikes are across the region. Nice graphic here from the National Weather Service Bay Area. And this is for the central Nevada, Sierra Nevada here. And you can see just the huge accumulated snowfall here doing great across the area today. Hope we can fill these reservoirs. And you can see that 431 inches of snowfall out there right now compared to the 30-year mean between 91 and 2000 shown there. And this is backcountry avalanche warning. Just have a heads up. This is where we're going to go for uh, many areas across the Sierra Nevada here. So just have a heads up for that. And this is hard freeze warning. Look at some of these temperatures for Northern California all the way out to the coastline there. Crescent City coming up some pretty chilly overnight lows here and especially across the higher terrain. So watch out for that. Heads up. This is winter storm warning. Check it out. Eastern Sierra and White Mountains, Owen Valley, Esmeralda, Central Nye County out there. You know, big gusts out there, big snowfall totals. And check this out. Death Valley above 4,000 feet. That winter storm warning on in through Sunday morning shown there. Total snow, one to two feet, gust to 35 out there. I mean, you're getting close to blizzard conditions out there across some of the areas in Death Valley above 4,000 feet. Pretty incredible. There's some pretty big mountain peaks out there. Now, taking a look here, this is Southern California. It's kind of highlighting those huge snowfall totals as well. Big Bear Lake. I think they downgraded the totals a bit, but that's still plenty. I mean, you're looking two and a half, three feet of snow there. 
Uh, so yeah, heads up for that. Now, this is what the Los Angeles National Weather Service has been putting out, and I think the Bay Area also. They've been talking about this water spout possible. You see these here. If you check back with the National Weather Service, you can see them put out these advisories as these stronger storms approach the coastline. And you can see on the Doppler radar that a lot of these are rotating as well. And you can see this one, the special weather statement here, calling for that land spout potential as well. And this is going to be going on through the day today and probably on and through tomorrow. But yeah, you can see the turning in the atmosphere there, causing that weak, brief tornado potential across the region. Things are on track. The model's been doing really good over the last few days, picking up on the storm's arrival here and the timing of it. The snowfall amounts are doing pretty well as um, can be expected here. And there's some pretty disruptive snowfall going on across Northern California as we speak right now. It's going to be continuing on through the day. And this is really going to start to pile up across some of the higher peaks down through Southern California. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the weather out there. The weather watchers across California finally getting something to watch here the last few months. And we might not be done here through early March as we look to remain active. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day out there. You know, I'll be checking back on Twitter. Check for updates there. Stay tuned to your local National Weather Service offices and we'll do this again tomorrow.